All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Commodity. I'm Fez, and today we're taking a look at Brits Try Chick-fil-A for the first time, U.S. Vacation Vlog number six. So this is from the channel uh, Mr. H and Friends. Um, I follow them. I follow quite a few reaction channels uh, for the U.S. and really all over the, the world. Um, just to kind of see what people are doing. And I like these guys. Uh, they went, they came to the U S I haven't watched any of their food videos. Um, just because they kind of went into the back burner for whatever reason, just like everybody does. Eventually you kind of watch somebody for too long. You're just kind of like time to move on for a little bit. And then you kind of fall back into it. I do that all the time with different channels and stuff. Um, so I did the same. And then I saw that they came to the, uh, U.S. to try some stuff, and I kind of want to see what Brit's opinions are on American food. I've been to to uh, specifically London and England, and uh, if I'm being perfectly honest, all the food that I tried, and to be fair, I was kind of just venturing on my own for the most part, so I didn't know where all the good food is at, you know, so I just kind of um, went on my own and to be honest, I tried fish and chips. It was so greasy. It was so, like, I got so nauseous from eating it. I tried, uh, I tried a lot of the, uh, the traditional stuff, beans and toast. Not honestly a fan. But to be fair, I hate those kind of beans. Like, I don't even like those here with anything. I don't care what you put them on. It's just not my thing. Um, and of course, everybody knows we've tried, uh, what is it called? Not the, uh, it's the yeast stuff that's real popular in, uh, there in the UK. We tried that. That wasn't terrible. I could handle that. <clears throat> it's just definitely, uh, Brits and Americans have different taste buds for sure. And I'm, I bet you five bucks, they're going to dislike a lot of stuff because again, it's just, they haven't had a lot of the food that we have and vice versa. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. And of course, if you can subscribe, hit the bell notification, and of course, like the video, that helps me greatly. But let's do this. Almost thought I wasn't recording. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Got Bloody hell, that is good. Just made me hungry. Bloody hell, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Chick-fil-A. If you haven't had Chick-fil-A, it's the most insanely, it's, in fact, the creator, uh, the, the, the founder of Chick-fil-A, he's no longer running the company anymore, uh, invented the chicken sandwich. Um, and they are insanely good. I don't know how they do it. They're the most basic sandwich you've ever had. It's literally two pieces of bread. A huge piece of chicken that's breaded and deep fried and all that good stuff. And then I want to say a few pickles. And that's basically it. And then they give you a bunch of condiments to put on it. I mean, you can do the deluxe, which is what I do. And it comes with everything on it. Sorry, I took a screenshot of what we were ordering. So I'm just looking for that. This is our first time having a Chick-fil-A. Oh, well, welcome. Thank you. This is what we've been recommended. So the Chick-fil-A sandwich. Yeah, see, there you are. So you have the the pickles, the huge piece of chicken. It is not a joke. It is gigantic. And then bread. So, and what's funny is you'll hear the politeness coming from these people. And the owner, the former owner, like, instead of saying you're welcome, you, they have to say my pleasure because uh, the owner went to a Ritz Carlton and got out of his car and he said thank you to somebody and they said it was my pleasure and he was like I like that I love that actually and you know it's a fast food it's a legitimate fast food restaurant you order at the front you take it to the back and people will literally walk around make sure you're okay and refill your drinks like as if it's a sit down restaurant you don't tip anybody it's just such a well done and then the new CEO is completely revamping they were very very anti abortion and all this other stuff very religious based and now they still are, they don't open up on Sundays, but they've changed their attitude about the LGBTQ plus community. They've changed their attitude about a lot of stuff. They're going woke as the media goes, but 
people are not wanting to boycott it, but they're saying they're going to, which that means less lines for me because this place is always packed. Yes, yep. please. Is that waffle fries? Yes. Yeah. And pickles are okay on the sandwich? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Please. And for the drink? Uh, the lemonade. The best. The lemonade. I actually had the lemonade yesterday. Yeah, please. Okay. And is ice okay on that? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Then we've got like the cob salad with nuggets. With the bread and nuggets, right? Yes, please. All right. The lemonade is fresh. The brunch, please. Regular ranch? Uh, garden herb one, yes, please. Herb. Right. And then we would get chocolate milkshake. Perfect. This with cream and cherry okay for you? Yes, please. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> and then the chocolate chunk cookie, please. Just one? Just one, yeah, okay. Yeah. And that's us done, isn't it? Yeah, that's us done. And any sauces recommended on there? What would you recommend? I love our Chick-fil-A sauce. Yeah. I, yes, that's the one. And then um, Polynesian. Polynesian one. Yes, that's please. also a really popular one. And we also, mm -hmm. if, are you guys into there is a shortage of sriracha. Do y'all have that issue over there in the UK? I think I read that some type of tomato that they use that's grown in Mexico uh, has been having issues because of the crazy weather we're having this year. And legitimately, for me to buy from Walmart, I have to order it from Walmart, and it's $25 for a little tiny container that used to cost like two something. So that's how hard it is to, we went to a, uh, what kind of restaurant is that? That's a pho. That's a Vietnamese, uh, yeah, Vietnamese, I think. Um, and they had some, and I was like, man, I am really tempted to steal this stuff because I have none at home right now. And I use it religiously just like ketchup. So yeah, it's a thing. See how they said my pleasure? So we've ordered our first Chick fil A, lovely server from Camilla, and we've gone for the chicken sandwich meal with waffle fries and lemonade we've also ordered was it a cob salad cob salad i've never ordered a salad added nuggets chocolate milkshake and a cookie as well i don't think there's anything else just the sauces so we've plenty of sauces we had the polynesian sauce the chick-fil-a sauce yeah. and camilla recommended we try the sriracha sauce which is the hot and spicy or sweet and spicy i've never so had we're that looking forward to giving that a try absolutely just waiting for a name to be picked up polynesian sauce is literally just sweet and sour sauce with a fancy name on it that's literally all it is uh and then um the chick-fil-a sauce is phenomenal it's the best like uh, French fry sauce you could ever get. And then we're gonna go. Where are they? Military museum. Okay, so we have just got back with our Chick-fil-A. I cannot wait for this. We did put a message out to all our patrons asking what we should be getting. So John Johns, Robert, and John Helwig. So we've taken your recommendations. You would have seen earlier what we've ordered, but we're gonna get straight into it. Okay, so we've got our lemonade. You have a salad. So what was this, the cob? I think we've got a salad. We've got a cob salad with the chicken nuggets. So we thought we'd try the chicken nuggets. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of disappointing getting the salad. I mean, Fast food salad is so pointless, especially when you start adding the fried chicken on top. Every place does that. Mickey D's, uh, Jack in the Crack, uh, Sonic, everybody does that. And it's like you go from a healthy meal to like a fast food meal all of a sudden. Oh, and we got garden herb ranch, charred tomato, crispy red bell peppers. Ooh. Yeah, you're just adding okay. more fried crap. Wow, there's lots of dips here. <laughs> Look. Oh, waffle fries. Waffle fries. <laughs> yeah, waffle fries. Oh, we've also got a cookie as well. Yeah, I forgot about the cookie. I really want to try and She's dip so cute. the potato waffles in the chocolate milk shake. I've seen it done lots of times. I know lots of people say about Wendy's and fries. So I just get straight into a yeah. burger? So this is the chicken sandwich. With pickles. With pickles. And, uh, oh, wow. 
It smells great. No sauce. Yeah, they don't put... Pickles. But I'm going to try it without sauce, and then I'm going to try it again and dip it into I usually sauce. don't so add sauce. First bite. I just bite into that thing. <laughs> is that what it tastes like, is it? Nice. Mmm. Wow. Now try a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You can try it if you dip, salad, if you dip it in. It'd be even better. The, t the taste sort of like just gets better and better and better. No. And I was going to have a waffle fry. Potato waffle. The best French fry right fry. there. No, fry. after McDonald's. Now, what's the dip here? So, that is the Chick fil A sauce. Oh, I'm going to try this Chick fil A sauce. I've got to say, that sandwich is not like a sandwich I've tasted before. It does taste mm. quite different in a good way. I'm going to have to. Wow, try that this. Chick fil A. Mm. I'll tell you what, I'm going to fry it a bit of the salad, but I'm going to try the... Wowza! Oh. Honey, try out the Chick-fil-A sauce. That was bloody lovely. Their chicken nuggets there, I never order them because they're like this big. They're so small. But it's literally just pieces of chicken breast cut off. And they just bread it and fry it. It is so good. Instead of like taking the leftovers and grinding it up. No, they literally just take chunks of chicken. It's awesome. Try a bit of chicken nugget. Oh, I'm going to try lemonade as well. Mm. The lemonade's the best. Nice. Wow. That is sweet. So chicken nugget with Woo. Chick fil A sauce. Ooh. Let us know in the comments below if you've had Chick fil A before and what your favourite sauce is. Nice. That's got like a. It's nice and tangy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's lovely. It's like almost like a bit of a Thousand Island dressing. Bloody hell. Yeah. That's really lovely. Like that. mm, I wouldn't say it's as tangy well. as Thousand Island, but I, I see where you're coming from. It. They're not like normal chicken nuggets. They're really tender and yeah. not like reconstituted chicken. Oh. That's the good. coaching. I know. Now, which one's which? Mm. I'm going to go for the sweet and spicy sriracha on my waffle fry. Mm. <coughs> oh. 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 Ooh. Mm. Don't click off just yet because we're still going to try potato waffles in our milkshake. When I first heard that, I was like, what? You know, putting fries in a milkshake, but apparently it goes, it works. So don't click off yet. And we do have, yes, we do have a cookie as well. That sweet and spicy sriracha sauce is lovely. I'm going to try the Polynesian sauce as well now. My mouth's still a little bit fiery. This is the first thing I've had that I think has been spicy. Mm. spicy. Okay, well, I'll move over to this one. So this is a Polynesian one. I need to try the sriracha if Polynesian. it's actually spicy. It's nice, it's just a bit sweet for me. You'll like that one. What, the Polynesian? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Well, that's really, really tasty. Oh my God, that's lovely. Really tasty. Right. I really like the Chick-fil-A. Oh, I need to try the Yeah, yeah. Lemonade. Yeah, yeah, check that out. It is, it is like, woo! Oh, that's proper lemonade. Mm. Yeah. Oh. That is like proper lemonade. The best part is it's free refills. Usually anywhere that has like actual homemade style lemonade that's not from concentrate, you have to buy it by the, like it's more of a UK, Australian thing where no free refills. But at Chick-fil-A, free refills, all you can drink. And I go through it. And I always get the big, which is, you know, something like that. And I will power through that bad boy. <laughs> that is good. Okay, should we look at those chubby cheeks? cheeks. Mm -hmm. Yep, Chick fil A sauce is amazing. I'm gonna try this one now. So, this is sweet and spicy. Do you want some chicken nugget? The poor girl, she just. Oh, yeah, oh there we nuggets. go. I was like, she just gets okay, left behind. Okay, so I'm gonna try that sauce. And. I'm getting too hot. Oh! It's got a little after. Is it good? Mmm. I thought I'd better try my, yeah. my actual um, oh, salad. Mmm. Boom, that is nice. That is bloody lovely. I'm going to try it with potato fry. It makes me so hungry. That's why I'm smiling. I'm like... See, this food, I am not joking, makes me happy. Do you want to try one of them? Yeah, what is it? Just to go on the salad, but try it. It's a roasted bell pepper. Oh. Tomato crispy oh, red bell Oh, they're roasted. Pepper. I thought they were fried. That's tasty. Mmm. I've got to do Chick-fil-A sauce again. That is lovely. Popping them on my salad. Mm. My mouth is watering. Stop. <laughs> mm. I feel like I'm mm. going to try a little bit of ranch as well. Mm. I haven't had ranch. 
<clears throat> She's so cute. In the US. That is amazing. Mm. It just gets better. Aww, yeah. She just wants some love. Oh, can I try a bit? No. Oh. Oh, I miss ranch. Can I have a bit of chicken as well? Yes, sir. So oh. needy. Mm. Oh. That is good. Mm. I love me some ranch. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm just going to close this up because we are outside. Waffles in. Mm. This Chick fil A sauce is amazing. Let us know in the comments below what your favourite sauce is because. Oh, do you want one then? So. Now, this has got whipped cream in, so I'm just wondering, let's do the taste test of this on his own first. Yep, and yep. then put the waffle in because mm -hmm. I think we're just going to get cream if we try yeah. this on its own. But that lemonade is lovely, really refreshing. Ah, uh, yeah. A bit tangy, but good. <coughs> Very tangy. I should have got an extra straw because Alana really likes straws at the moment. While you're doing that, I'm going to have another dip. Okay, I'm going to try this then. So I love me some dipping. Chocolate milkshake. Oh. Are you a dipper? I'm a pour, so I'll grab one of those, and I don't think I get the majority out of it. And if I do use a sauce, I mean, I say I don't, but sometimes I'll grab a sauce if I'm really interested. Usually, I just put mayonnaise because you can get real. They have like two. They have mayo and mayonnaise, uh, mayonnaise and uh, whatever the other one is. It's just like the same thing with a different taste to it. And I'll just uh, squish it on top and just like it's an orange or or a. Uh, a lemon. I just grabbed the whole packet and just on the very top. That's good. But I do that okay. with every condiment. I'm just yeah. put it across mm. the top. That is very good. Do you want a cherry? No, you have it, I don't really like cherries. I'm right. with you. I'm not a and cherry. We have to fan. say the staff at Chick fil A were mm. lovely. So polite, so kind. So welcoming, friendly. Mm. It just made us feel like it was yeah. an experience going in there and ordering our food. I'm glad we didn't mm. do a door dash for this one. Really good? Honestly. Little chocolate heaven. Bloody there. hell. Come on, let's try this. Let's do it. If you want to see more content like this, let us know by liking this video. And as always, we want to hear your comments. I'm not sure about this. I'm honest. not sure. This goes against everything. Yep, yeah, this I doesn't. Think, I'm going to have to try it because it's melting. No, oh, it's dripping. Oh. Okay, that shouldn't work. That, that, that shouldn't work. It does though, doesn't it? Yeah. Like the salt on the potato, on the waffle, right? How is that working? Can someone like to explain to us, how is that working? I'm actually see that one more time. I don't, I don't get it. Wait. I think the guys from Jolly said that has no right to work. Good. I would never have done that before. I would never have done it, but I don't understand how it works. Sweet and salty. Let us know in the comments down below if we have to try Wendy's Frosty with fries as well, because oh. if it's going to taste like... Yeah, that's... So, Wendy's is renowned for their Frosties. Like, I mean, you could hate everything else there. And one thing I want to say is it's okay to dislike stuff. Like, I know people that hate almost everything and have taste buds like, a, like that their daughter probably does. In fact, she probably has better taste buds than a lot of people I know. Um, but I don't know why there's like this, this weird, we've even gotten it. Like if I bought something and I, uh, that was either Malaysian or Filipino or whatever the country was that we were trying at the time. And I didn't like it. A lot of people were upset about that. Um, if you try American food and you don't like it, so be it. I mean, it's, I mean, shoot, I know people that love ketchup, but hate tomatoes. I don't get that either, but there's just, you know, everybody's got different taste buds and, yeah, French fries and uh, Wendy's Frosty, insane. I think that's where that actually came from, or should have. So that, I'm all up for it. That's the best milkshake I've ever had. Oh. That's the best chicken burger I've ever had. Really? That's the best dip I've ever had. The dips are great. Should we just try a little bit of cooking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm loving this dip and this chicken sandwich. Oh, okay. It's quite crunchy, this, but also gooey inside. Mm. Oh, my God. I'll have to think that you can have a little bit. All right. <laughs> Okay. And if you would like to support the channel even more, check out our Patreon for behind the scenes, Zoom calls with us, free merch, and much more. That's nice. Crunchy, but still gooey. It's not even hot, so the fact that it's gooey is nice. Yeah. How do you guys do it? How do you do it? How is everything just so amazing? I'm going to have to dip it. Is this something you do? 
dip it in your milkshake. This is exactly no. what I want. <laughs> I don't do that. Baby H is enjoying the sauces as well. She's had the Chick fil A sauce and the Polynesian sauce, and I think she's enjoying them. Do this one? Good. You got to give him some of the sriracha oh, sauce. Oh my. Mm. Hey, do that. Oh. Do that. Oh, hang on, I was going to do this. Do it. Oh, I hope our neighbours aren't listening because they'd be wondering yeah. what we're doing. <laughs> okay. Chocolate on chocolate. I wonder if they're That's in the a bomb. hotel or a uh, the Airbnb. Mm. That's so good. This is our first time trying Chick-fil-A. Again, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. If you haven't already and you want to see us do more videos like this about amazing food in your culture, subscribe, notification bell. And all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. And see you on the next video. Whoa. She is the most darling little girl ever. But anyways, I, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I know this is kind of weird and American reacting to Brits reacting to American food. I get it. Uh, I was just kind of, I kind of was hoping that somebody didn't like it, you know, so I could be like, you know, react to that, but they liked it. They loved it. Um, to be fair, Chick-fil-A is extremely popular. If I were to go up to Chick-fil-A right now, it's 830 in the morning. I guarantee there's a line. There's always a line at Chick-fil-A. Doesn't matter what time, as long as they're open, there is a line and it's annoying, but that line, it wraps around the building. All, all the time uh, to, through the drive-thru and then the inside is just always packed. When I saw the inside of this place, I don't know how they had empty seats because it's the most annoying thing. If you go to Chick-fil-A, you just go through the drive-thru and take it home unless you're in a town that you're far away from home. But the most annoying thing about Chick-fil-A is it's line. But they actually have people out there with tablets going down the line so they can get your order in. And they have two rows, always have two rows of cars and they usually have like four to six people on each or four pe two to three people on each line going down and getting the they'll put in the license plate number so they know who uh, ordered what. And then they go all the way down and just somehow the, and then it just gets moved. I mean, it moves. So as bad as the line is, it's not that bad. It's not like going to Disney World or anything like that where you're sitting in the line for hours on end. But. This made me extremely hungry. In fact, I'm going to go eat breakfast. Um, but guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. Uh, Mr. H and family, or in friends, are going to be, their link will be down in the description. Go subscribe to them. They're fantastic. I love watching them. A lot of the time, it's just him, but sometimes it's but the two of them, and then sometimes she joins in. So uh, until next time, bye.